Spurs are now down to sixth in the Premier League. Reports are stating that the players are getting fed up with Jose Mourinho's comments. A former Spurs star has stated that the Gareth Bale situation just needs to end as soon as possible. A Spanish club are monitoring Harry Winks. And a Premier League legend has stated that he fears for Jose Mourinho and the squad as Jose Mourinho is creating a rift. Welcome back to another video. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. In today's video, I'm going to be going through all of the Tottenham news, all of the rumours and all of the reports from the last 24 hours. But before I get into it, if you don't subscribe to the channel as yet, please do hit that subscribe button. Just before I get into today's video, make sure that you download the OneFootball app for all of the live football scores, results and news, as well as getting all of the latest Spurs news on this channel. You can also see it all here. Download the OneFootball app to keep up to date with everything Tottenham Hotspur. Club news, transfer news, match information, videos, tables and results from all around the world. Don't miss out and please do let me know what you think of this app. Let's start with the results in the Premier League from Monday evening. Everton 1, Crystal Palace 1 and Wolverhampton Wanderers 2, West Ham United 3. Tottenham are now down to 6th in the Premier League. We have played 30, we've won 14, we've drawn 7 and lost 9. We have a goal difference of plus 19, we have 49 points. West Ham now go into the top 4. They have 52 points from 30 matches. We are now 3 points adrift of that top 4 place. A report has been published by the Daily Mirror and it states Jose Mourinho contract clause means Tottenham may avoid £30 million compensation with sacking. The Spurs boss could be in line to receive less than expected if he is sacked by the North London club this summer. The report then goes on to say that Spurs may end up paying less than the reported £30 million in compensation should they decide to part company with Jose Mourinho this summer. Reports had claimed that the under-fire Spurs boss would be due a bumper payoff if the club decided to sack him ahead of his contract expiring in 2023. Jose Mourinho is said to be earning around £15 million a year with the North Londoners and with no break clause, Chairman Daniel Levy would have to fork out the remainder of the Portuguese boss's expected salary should he choose to let the manager go. However, according to the Daily Mail, Jose Mourinho's payout is dependent on Tottenham's league position and whether the club qualifies for Europe. Failure to reach the Champions League or Europa League would see his entitlement reduced in the event he was to lose his job. A report out in the last 24 hours from the Daily Telegraph and they are stating that Spurs players are getting fed up with Jose Mourinho's withering comments. Jose Mourinho, famed for holding on to Leeds, was asked why Spurs could not do so against Newcastle United and he replied, same coach, different players. It then goes on to say that Tottenham Hotspur players are losing patience with Jose Mourinho pointing the finger at them and insinuating that they are not good enough to challenge for a top four place. Former Tottenham midfielder Jamie O'Hara was talking on TalkSport in the last 24 hours all about Tottenham star Gareth Bale and he said that everyone's had enough of the Gareth Bale saga. The fans, the players, the media, everyone has just had enough. He came in, there were people standing outside the ground, it was like the Messiah was coming back. He wasn't fit for three months, got fit, had a few decent games, started playing well and then disappeared in the two biggest games of the season against Arsenal and Dynamo Zagreb. Two shocking performances. Former Spurs man O'Hara then went on to say, then he comes out and says that he just wanted to be fit for the Euros. It's why he come to Spurs. He wants to go back to Real Madrid. Everyone is just tired of it. You can see Jose Mourinho is tired of it. He didn't even bother playing him against Aston Villa. He brought him on for the last two minutes against Newcastle. That whole situation just needs to end. Former Spurs and England goalkeeper Paul Robinson has been talking to the Football Insider all about Tottenham Hotspur striker Carlos Vinicius and about his performance against Newcastle. Robinson has stated that he believes that he went missing in the game. He said, I didn't think Son would be fit enough to start, so I expected Carlos Vinicius to play. He was very impressive last month. He did very well against Aston Villa. But let's be honest, he went missing against Newcastle United. It was no surprise to see him get brought off. He didn't really get into the game at all. He was ineffective against Newcastle and Harry Kane was the only one that carried a real threat going forward early on. It was very disappointing. 
Paul Robinson was also talking about Joe Roden, who of course started against Newcastle as well. And he said he was exceptional at Newcastle and clearly Jose Mourinho is starting to trust him. He is putting his faith in Joe Roden because of the defensive problems that they have had, the defensive frailties. Jose Mourinho has been chomping and changing personnel at the back almost every week it seems. But every single time Joe Roden has been given the opportunity, he has excelled. At the moment, it looks like it is him and another. He's showing the more experienced players how it's done. On Sunday afternoon, Tottenham Hotspur Football Club released the following statement. Goalkeeper Alfie Whiteman has undergone surgery to his left knee. Alfie will now undergo a period of recovery and rehabilitation with a view to returning to training in May. At the moment, after 30 Premier League games, of course, eight Premier League games left of the season. Harry Kane is the Premier League highest goal scorer. Of course, got a brace at Newcastle on Sunday. He now has 19 Premier League goals, also 13 assists. Mo Salah is just behind him uh, with 18 goals. Bruno Fernandes has 16. And Patrick Bamford of Leeds United has 14 alongside Everton's Calvert-Lewin. A report has been published by Sky Sports and they are stating that Atletico Madrid are admirers of Harry Winks and monitoring his Tottenham situation. Harry Winks has barely featured for Tottenham under Jose Mourinho this season and has lost his place in the England squad. His previous boss, Maurizio Pochettino, once tipped Harry Winks to play in Spain and the Spanish league leaders like him. Another report out this time from the Daily Mirror about Harry Winks and it states that Harry Winks has emerged as a target for Atletico Madrid this summer with Tottenham finally willing to listen to offers for the midfielder. Everton and Valencia were both keen to sign him ahead of this season. The report from the Daily Mirror then states that Valencia tried again to take him on loan in January but Spurs blocked his exit both times with boss Jose Mourinho adamant he was going nowhere this season. It then goes on to say that Harry Winks will cost around £15 million to £20 million with Spanish sides Atletico Madrid, Valencia and Sevilla all hoping to take him and Everton still interested as well. Premier League legend Rio Ferdinand, now of course um, TV pundit, he has been talking to five YouTube channel and he says that he now fears for Jose Mourinho and the Tottenham Hotspur players. Ferdinand said, part of me understands Jose Mourinho. He has an ego like all of us. He has pride and when you attack him, he comes out fighting. I respect that a lot, I've got to say. But in these situations, sometimes he thinks about himself before anything else. He maybe doesn't think in that moment about the impact that he can have on the changing room. If I'm a player in that changing room, that is definitely casting doubt over me as an individual and us as a team. What does that do to the changing room? It doesn't galvanise them or bring them on side. It creates a rift, especially when you're not getting results. If you're winning and top of the league, you can say and get away with these types of things, but not when you're looking for confidence and searching for consistency. He's not bringing the players on side with these comments. That's why I fear for Jose Mourinho and his squad, because those comments don't bring people alongside him. Tottenham star Harry Kane has been talking about Tottenham's 2-2 draw at Newcastle on Sunday and said whenever you are ahead in a game, as we have been a lot this season, and you give the lead away in the last 5-10 to 10 minutes, it's always hard to take, especially against teams that you've had chances against and could have put the game away. I feel like we could have played a lot better in the second half. We come out a bit sloppy on the ball, without the ball, not as much intensity as we had at the end of the first half. Then we didn't take our chances and got punished for it. We had some good chances, maybe the final ball or final pass. The final touch wasn't quite there and 2-1 is always a risky scoreline. One cross, a couple of deflections and they got a goal. And it's always hard to respond with four, five minutes to go. Those are fine margins. Look, we need to play better. It's disappointing, but we have to dust ourselves off and go again next week. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do put all of your thoughts and comments in the comment section below on everything I've spoken about in today's video. If you don't subscribe to the channel as yet, please do hit that subscribe button. Stay safe and well. I'll see you on the next video. Until then, come on you Spurs.